So the first thing I'm going to do is sterilize my equipment. I'm going to open this up. The next step is going to be choosing a seedling. So when we're choosing our seedlings, we want to find something which is in a similar diameter to our stock. So if we look here, we can see many seedlings, but the ones I'm going to choose are more established, sort of healthy looking. So the next thing we're going to do is cut our periscopsis. So I want to cut right about two inches below the growth point where you can see there's a nice big gap. So what we'll do is we'll take our knife, very sharp. I like to take these bad boys just to hold our periscopsis and make a nice clean cut. I want it to be very clean, very straight. Boom, there you go. Now we have this leftover piece. We're just going to set it here for the moment. And we're going to cut off our excess leaves. Now what I like to do is I like to take these and snap them in half like so. So now that this is like this, you can squeeze it and get the juices onto there like so. And that helps to form a nice glue. So what we'll do next is we will take our seedling. We can cut our seedling here. I like to make a clean slice right through it like so. Very flat, I'll show you there. And then we will just place it right on top, gently right on top. It's the exact same diameter. We're gonna press it down. Now that looks good. So what we're gonna do is take our super glue very gently And very lightly, we don't want much now, we're going to go and just tap all the way around. Now we just want enough to hold it in place. So we can see here, got it, it's nicely in place. Make sure that it's lined up. Give it one last tap and voila, like that, you have a graft. So now, what we're going to do is move on to our next graft. So we're going to take our seedling, grab it like so, and cut off our root system. Voila, so now we have this. Set this aside. And we can do the same thing here. So another thing you can do is you can take the roots the rooting system, and you can just very gently squeeze it like so. And that gets your roots very similar to what we did with our broken leaf here. Now, as you can see, I have it directly on top in the center. Right? I try not to move it around if I can avoid it. There we go. Just like that, you're done. Now these ones are actually trichoceres. You can see they've formed a few small spines. But what I'm going to do is the same process.
If we want to create more, we can take these and I would just pluck these off, exposing just this bottom portion. And then I would just take them and stick them in like that. Let's go ahead and finish these ones off. And voila, soon you'll have five more. So I pulled aside a few of my more recent graphs here for you guys to see. And as you can see, it's kind of slow to get kicked off. These ones are about a couple weeks after grafting. So for some, it takes a little longer than others to get going. But the beautiful thing about the glue method, the super glue method, is that they just grow out of it, right? So whereas with the covering them with some sort of parafilm, you'll have to actually remove that at some point. With these, you just let them grow. Um, so they kind of grow on their own and outgrow that glue so you don't have to mess with them at all once they've started growing. So that's really nice as compared to some of the other methods. That's why I prefer the glue method. It's really easy, really straightforward. Once you just sit it on top, you're good to go. And then your cactus sort of get bigger and looking even more like beautiful cactus. Here's some Trichocereus varieties here. And here's actually a Lofofer I did from seed about three months ago. This one's a Graublau. Uh, variety cultivar and then here's some of my earlier graphs I pulled aside this is a Lofofra Alberto Vajtechi this is about three months old actually um, so come along really nicely it's already got four pups there's one on the other side that I've degrafted hoping to get rooted here and then here's one of my Trichocereus Peruvianus this is a Sarah Blue crossed with Poots Peru. It's come across really nicely. It's about six months old and it really starts to look like a cactus. It's to the point where if I wanted to, I could degraft it and grow it like something on its own. So hope you guys enjoy. Please let me know if you have any questions, comments. Feel free to like and subscribe. I'd love to get some feedback on uh, kind of what you guys think. So thanks.